growing public concern about possible adverse impacts of hazardous substances has led to usage bans and limitations of selected harmful substances during both production and in end products. There are a few essential steps to understanding and dealing with such restricted substances. First, check the national chemical regulations in your country. Regulations differ among countries. Check on those where your factory is located. In addition to these national regulations, customers such as fashion brands may have further requirements. While reviewing customer and brand requirements, you may come across two different lists the Restricted Substance List and the Manufacturing Restricted Substance List. The Restricted Substance List aims to prevent and limit the use of restricted substances in finished products. The Manufacturing Restricted Substance List focuses on preventing and restricting the usage and the presence of specific hazardous substances throughout the entire manufacturing process. This list includes process chemicals which may be used in the manufacturing but are not present in the end product. You can find more detailed information on RSL and MRSL here. To understand whether you are using any restricted substances in your production, prepare an inventory of all substances in use in your production process. Such an inventory is not only required by your buyers, but also forms the basis for managing the chemicals in a systematic way. Be aware that your buyers may have specific expectations regarding the format of such inventory. Typically, the chemical inventory should indicate the name and type of chemical substance, the hazard and hazard class, the name of the chemical supplier, and the level of conformance to RSL and MRSL. The shown inventory is strongly simplified. For an example of an actual inventory, check the inventory format that is recommended by the Partnership for Sustainable Textiles above. If you are unsure whether the chemicals conform to the RSL and MRSL, request a written conformity declaration from the chemical supplier. Let's take a closer look at the RSL and MRSL. Many fashion brands have their own restricted substance list. No matter how different the design of these lists is, they usually show four key items in a table format. The first item is the name of the restricted chemical substance or formulation, which is restricted in use or not allowed to be detected in the end product. The second unit is the CAS number. This is a unique number assigned by the Chemicals Abstract Service of the American Chemical Society. The CAS number helps to identify the respective chemical substance or components of the formulation. The limit column shows the maximum allowable and detectable amount of that substance in the finished product. Some substances are completely banned for usage and are not allowed to be found in the end product at all. The column test method indicates the specific laboratory test required for detecting that substance in the end product. To be able to detect whether there are restricted substances in your final products, you will have to collaborate with a certified testing laboratory. This laboratory needs to be qualified to test the finished product with the correct test methods. The certified testing laboratory will send you a test report, which you can forward to your customer as a proof that your end products fulfill the RSL requirements. The items shown in a manufacturing restricted substance list are similar to those of an RSL. For example, the CAS numbers and names of the substances can also be found in the MRSL. The column Potential Uses explains when and for what purpose the substance is commonly used during manufacturing. The last column, General Technique, indicates the laboratory methods which are required for analyzing the concentrations of these substances. Since you may use multiple chemical substances as part of the formulations, the Group B column, Chemical Supplier Commercial Formulation Limit, shows the concentration limits of such substances in commercially available chemical formulations from chemical suppliers. 
substances on the MRSL may also enter the factory through pathways other than the supplied chemicals, for example, as contaminants in process water or input materials. An analysis of these pathways, as well as of wastewater and sludge, will help you to verify conformance. In case substances are found beyond the limits on the RSL and MRSL, you may need to take a closer look at the source and use of the substance in the production processes. Adjust your procurement practices and talk to your chemical suppliers to find suitable substitutes. Such substitutes may be listed on separate positive lists of buyers or chemical suppliers. Since these lists will be updated regularly, make sure to stay up to date about any changes. For more information on MRSL and how to use these, visit the ZDHC website here.